boy. There's no freaking way I get to do this in 90 seconds. Well, first of all, the good news is I just had an awesome discussion with David Sinclair about this a week ago. So in the next two months or whatever that, again, I keep saying that like I know when this is gonna come out. Sometime in October, November, Mm -hmm. the interview with David will come out. Actually, since that interview, a really interesting paper um, has come to my attention written by one of my medical school classmates, Josh Rabinowitz. So I actually read both of these papers on the plane yesterday. They're freaking phenomenal. and emailed uh, Josh a whole bunch of questions to which he responded. I would say the long and short of it is this, and this is not gonna make me very popular with anybody. Um, I am completely unconvinced that taking supplemental NR or even NMN by mouth is doing anything other than enriching the companies that make those things. Um, Let me repeat that. NAD, which you need in a cell, You could argue having more NAD in a cell is a better thing. That's a second order question. I'm asking for an exemption to my 90 second rule. This is such an important question. Um, Nick is nodding, by the way, just so you guys know. I'm I'm getting the So so, So cells cannot take up NAD. So a cell has to be able to make its own NAD. So the idea of giving precursors has become obviously the most interesting idea. Mm. Now what Rabinowitz's paper showed, and we should link to this. So this was in cell metabolism. It just came out like a, I mean, in the last few weeks, um, it's a 32 page paper. Hmm. It's, I, it, it was, it took me a while to get through, but basically Josh, um, who was, like I said, was one of my med school classmates and is still pissed off at me that I didn't invite him to Easter Island two years ago, to which I feel horrible. And I, it's only in, it's, it's a terrible omission. And he has already received an invitation to our next trip to Easter Island next year. Um, he developed, his lab developed a tracer to track all of the intermediaries of NAD and all the precursors. So you can give NR, NMN, and these things can be taken into a cell and then converted into NAD in the cytoplasm. And it appears that according to another paper of Josh's that we could link to if people are interested, it appears that NAD is formed entirely in the cytoplasm and then imported wholly as NAD into the mitochondria where in theory you would Mm. want to have that higher concentration. Here's what the study showed. When you gave oral NR or NMN, the two popular precursors, only the liver could make, could take them up and make NAD using tryptophan. No other cell in the body could take it up. So that would suggest to me that if you're taking oral NAD, uh, pardon me, oral NR or NMN, you're pretty much just giving it to your liver, which is not exactly the place you want it to be. Um, this would not be changed by using um, terastilbene. That, that wouldn't impact it at all. Similarly, all those clinics that are out there giving NAD infusions, which is very popular, um, that's always struck me as quackery, and it just seems even more quackery today because none of those cells are able to take up NAD. So it would seem to me, and I actually emailed Josh about this last night, and he emailed mm. me back today and agreed with my assessment. Based on all of these data, it would seem that the only way to increase cellular NAD would be to, would, would be to use intravenous doses of NR or NMN. Hmm. Um, and unfortunately, I just hadn't seen that paper because I would have loved to have had that discussion with David because he might have a counterpoint to it. He might, you know, be unaware of it. I, I'm not really sure, but but um, that would that to me is very important. And I've actually already spoken with a number of our patients who take supplemental NAD and I've, or take supplemental NR and I've already said to them, you know, look, I think you're sort of flushing money down the toilet. Again, I don't think it's harmful. You know, this isn't like a four alarm fire, but I think based on these data, I would have a hard time recommending that anybody take those products. Mm.